Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. I've seen vases like this before and I decided to try one this time. They're a little bit ticky so I made a couple of templates. This one is for the interior and uh, but the only problem in, in the end was I tended to sand this edge a little bit more so I need to be more careful in the future. As for this one for the outside, well it kind of worked but kind of didn't. Since there was a block of wood in the inside, it ran into that and it was hard to do it. Therefore, the whole thing shifted a little bit. So, this is, I think, very good, but I think I can do better in the next one. But, every project I do makes me better on the next one. So, let's make this double face. After finding the center with diagonal lines and drilling a mounting hole, I nipped off the corners and mounted the poplar to a screw chuck. Just a little bit of rounding now with my favorite bowl gouge. Then measure and mark for a mounting mortise. I'll cut the mortise with a parting tool and my skew. Now that the wood is stable, I can start cutting the half circle near the outer rim. I'll use my round nose scraper for this feature. Before starting, I made a template by cutting a circle on some scrap flooring material, then gluing another straight piece across it to form a semicircle. I'm using this now to gauge my cuts. I want this to be as perfect as possible but recognize how difficult that would be to be actually perfect. I sanded this feature just in case some wood turner sticks a finger down inside the vase. Now I'm cutting a mortise on this side for another reversal. Then clean up the side since it will be a glue surface. Now I've reversed the wood in preparation to, for tooling the outside. Now I can round off the outside of the circle. I made a template for this side also. This is a circle cut into flooring, then cut in half and sanded to the line. However, I've run into trouble with this template. Since there is wood still in the center, my template will not work. I'll have to revise it for next time. Maybe a two-thirds circle. I'm doing my best, but I blow it. The walls toward the center are very thin. I'm continuing and will have to adjust for the offset. After sanding, I cut the poplar in half along the grain. Now I'm using white glue to glue the two halves faces together. I like white glue when squeeze out may happen on the inside and where it will be difficult to remove. The inner surface works well as a gluing flange. This helps since the inner wall is extremely thin. 
I mounted my 2-inch sanding pad in a drill chuck in the headstock. I'm sanding the outer rim this way, then using a drum sander to sand the inner rim. Now I want caps for the tops of the two vase necks. I'm using some scrap walnut. I've applied double stick tape to hold the wood to the face of my chuck jaws. Tailstock pressure holds it in place and sets the bond. Then cut a tenon to fit the neck before drilling out the center. I'm using a parting tool to cut off the piece that I want. Now I've mounted the cap into the small shark jaws. Now I can tool and sand the top side. This is the fourth cap that I've made for this project. At least now, I have two that survived and match. I've remounted the remainder of the walnut scrap to the chuck. This will be the base for the base. I'm first shaping the bottom side into a shallow cur cove. Then I reverse the wood onto a wood faceplate that I've shaped to match the cove on the underside. Double stick tape provides security. I've sanded a flat on the bottom of the vase that I'll glue to this surface. Finally, I can glue the pieces together with white glue. After the glue is dry, I'm applying brushing lacquer and wiping it dry. I like my double vase. While it is not quite what I wanted, it still looks nice. Every project, even if it does not turn out as well as I would like, helps me with the next ones. I'll do better on the next face of this style. That's all for this double vase. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. Please wear your full face shield. You'll thank me later. I'm Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. Come back next week for a new wood turning video.